can quite simply never get enough of. Talk about high profile, this qualifies and a lot more. Stay with us for all the action from the Etihad. It's Manchester City against Liverpool. Hello and welcome to our coverage on what is a very soggy night here at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City taking on Liverpool. Yes, thanks as always Derek. We've got two good teams here so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Gakpo. And space on the wing for Liverpool. Angled for Salah. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, he's been great since joining the club. He's their leading goal scorer, and it's his movement that's been so good. If the defenders get too tight, he'll spin in behind them. If they drop off, he'll turn and run at them. Let's hope we see the best of him today. This could be dangerous if he's not careful. So a throw in here for Liverpool. Salah, Gakpo, now options are plenty, chances on, well ruled to have taken up an illegal position, only just, he's given it away, Gundogan, Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, the pass not finding its target. Elliott. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, could be a chance. Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. Not a memorable effort, though. Well, you have to question the decision-making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Grealish Holland must take the lead here and they have you've got to say it has been coming well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and the movement is good making for a comfortable finish it's a really great goal
City ahead here. Elliot. Harvey Elliot. Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, a bit short with the clearance. Mo Salah. And the goal has been scored by Mohamed Salah. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then Salah's finish is brilliant. He strikes the ball cleanly and gives the keeper no time to react. It's a really good goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Rodri. Will it happen for them? To take the lead. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Now the short corner here. And possession lost, intercepted. Useful looking ball and tossing through. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then Holland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. And the play once again. Manchester City with the advantage. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And so the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Etihad. Well, I think we really need quite a few superlatives to accurately describe Erling Haaland's first-half performance. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals. So much looking forward to this. Liverpool kick off. Oh, could be a chance. Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. Not a memorable effort, though. So, back in business here. City with the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Walker. Top-class defending. Salah. Keeping the opposition. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. And now to level the game. And a timely penalty save! <laughs> Getting in there to intercept. Moving into the advanced position, and he's in. Well, that's a cute finish. He just gets his toe underneath the ball and lifts it over the keeper. It's a good bit of skill and an excellent goal.
So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Erling Haaland. Ake. It's with Gundogan. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And let's give credit to the defending. Straight offside, but only just. De Bruyne. Sound piece of goalkeeping. It must go in, surely. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. the ball moving again looking to find a reply to that setback 20 minutes remaining this is a message for Owen Kennedy Owen, happy extremely birthday. sloppy in possession well City haven't bossed the possession as you can see but their counter-attacking has been really good particularly in the wide areas it's been an excellent performance from them so far Can they create something from here? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. And support available. Well, tremendous block. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Now well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Oh, did so well to deny him. So making the substitution now. Corner kick played in. Tremendous ball played through. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And then for the real chance. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. And clearing it away. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the contest, and the three points go to Manchester City. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end.